Well, it has been a year. Happy anniversary. <laughs> it's our nomad anniversary. <laughs> when we were researching into full-time RV living, one of the things that we really wanted to know the most about was how much people spend mm -hmm. on the road. Yeah. So we're going to share with you how much that we have spent this year. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. Oh yeah? But we're <laughs> going to talk about budget the most okay. and money the most. Over the past year we have traveled across 14 different states, over 8,000 miles, okay. and some issues. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> we have stayed at 30 different places. A lot. It is a lot. <laughs> but you figure there's 52 weeks in a year. Yeah. And we generally travel every week or every two, two weeks, weeks, but we did get stuck. Yeah, we did. During the Rona. And we did stay at your parents for an extended amount of time yeah, for, the for the holidays. So you factored in 30 different places is not bad. Yeah. Um, 20 of those places were just privately owned campgrounds. Seven of those places were military campgrounds, mm -hmm. one city park, one Corps of Engineers, and one Mooch Dock with the Brazen Brits in Virginia. This is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> the most expensive place that we stayed at was uh, in Charlotte, and that was $320 a week. That's a lot. Yeah. The least expensive. Was it the Brits? Mooch Dock, because it was free. <laughs> Over the entire year, we spent a total of $8,374 on campsites. Is that good or bad? That sounds like a lot. But actually, it's not, because we budgeted for $900 a month. Mm -hmm. And if you average that out, that's just short of $700 a month. Oh, okay. So That's... we were under budget by, on average, a couple hundred per month. Okay. Some of those months we were a little over because we stayed at more expensive places. Yeah. And some we were way under because we either stayed at military or cheaper spots. Cheaper. Yeah. Our longest travel day was from New Orleans to Fort Benning because the Rona was breaking out. Yeah. And we normally don't travel that long, but that was a 414 mile trip that yeah. day. And then our shortest trip was Houston to Galveston. Yeah. 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now we're going to break down what we spent along the way. Okay. These are averages because we took uh, several months and averaged all that stuff. We didn't go through our bank statement and pick out every single one. And some of that was hard when it comes to groceries because yeah. we stop at Walmart's a lot because it's usually we have other things we need to get to and mm -hmm. so then that's in the grocery bill and you have to separate what yeah. was grocery and what wasn't grocery exactly because you got like stuff yeah with your groceries so it was a little difficult so we're speaking in averages yeah yeah so on average per month um, for groceries, we spent $550 a month, which is not too far off what we were spending in our sticks and bricks. No, it's not. About what we were spending. About that too. Yeah. And we mostly go to Walmarts or uh, local grocery stores, and if we are on a military installation, we'll stop at the it's commissary. commissary. Yeah. Um, eating out, we spent a lot. We do eat a lot. We spent about $315 a month eating out. That's a lot. But we do meet new people a lot. Mm -hmm. We do go out with people that we meet on the road a lot. And really for us, that is a lot of our entertainment is going out it's, to eat. Yeah. And the fact that I hate cooking. <laughs> that too. <laughs> so. <laughs> so eating out was a lot. Yeah. Which we expected. Yeah. It's not a shocker to us. It might no. be to some, but not. And um, we budgeted for like $400 a month on the eating out, which is high, but we knew we do it a lot. We know ourselves, so. So we're under budget on both things so far. Okay. Um, 
fuel, we budgeted for $250 a month. We average spent $220 a month, which okay. was good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we spent more, sometimes less, kind of depending on it, how long we were staying at a place. Yeah, the cities differed. Some cities were really cheap on diesel, and then some were not so cheap on diesel. Yeah, and so, and then also depending on where our RV park was in relation to all the, the stuff, stuff that we, we wanted to see. Yeah. In some cities, we stayed 30, 35 minutes outside the city. So every time we wanted to go in, it was, a little more, it was more. And then when we were, we had the travel uh, weeks, it was like a week stay and then travel and then a week stay and then travel and then one week stay and then travel. Yeah. That added up to a lot of fuel mm -hmm. also. But when we were at Fort Benning for eight weeks and with your parents for six yeah, weeks, we didn't, drive we didn't spend as much fuel. So it averaged out pretty well. Okay. Um, entertainment, an average of about $120 a month. And this is like to get into places, admissions to museums and amusement parks and attractions, Zoos. things like that. Yeah. yeah. The most expensive that we went to was the Biltmore. Of course. And that was like 60 bucks a person. Mm -hmm. So that was like that was a one month <laughs> worth yeah. of entertainment in a day. But you have to go see the Biltmore. <laughs> And the least expensive was free, and we've done a ton, a ton of, free of free stuff. stuff. Yeah. So we didn't list all that. But um, a lot of the museums were free. Um, a lot of just the hiking and hanging out was free. Yeah. The cemeteries were all free. Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of the stuff on the military installations, the static displays, the veteran memorials, mm -hmm. they're all free. Yeah. Um, insurance, we use Geico. Mm -hmm. And this hasn't changed from when we left. We spend about yeah. 300 bucks a month on insurance, which was what we budgeted for because we already knew that was a known that's, expense. Yeah, that's been a constant so far. Yeah, I know some of you are probably thinking 300, that's a lot. But you have to keep in mind, Lauren is still on it's our on insurance. insurance. Yeah, yeah. And, her, and the car we bought her is on our insurance. So. Yeah, so that's budgeted into yeah. our expenses too. Mm -hmm. For internet, we spend $65 a month. Mm -hmm. We have the jetpack from Verizon which we are grandfathered into the unlimited without throttling plan uh, that's no longer available but um, and it's a it was 75 it was $70 mm -hmm. but we set up on auto pay we get a $5 yeah off so $65 a month and then for TV we spend um, well it depends on how you want to look at it because we spend $60 a month on YouTube TV which is our cable yeah. basically and then we spend um, a little extra per month on Netflix mm -hmm. and we are Amazon Prime members yeah. so that really doesn't count as our TV even though we get Amazon Prime TV included with Amazon Prime mm -hmm. so that's just a perk kind of bonus yeah so 70 ish bucks yeah 75 bucks on TV yeah uh, propane, we didn't spend hardly uh, nearly as much as I thought we were going to spend on propane. No. No, we budgeted for $50 a month on propane, which, because we just didn't know. Yeah, well, setting out, yeah, we didn't know how much. Yeah. And we spent about 10 yeah. bucks a month on propane, <laughs> if that. Yeah, winter was probably a little more yeah. where that came from because we had to run the furnace. Yeah. But it hasn't, hasn't been terrible. So, um, so the total of all of that combined, $2,340 per month. But you have to keep in mind there's a lot of things that we didn't include in this because we want it to be relatable to what you are going to project when you hit the road full time. Mm -hmm. And so we did not include our RV or truck payment because those are just going to vary so much for everybody. Yeah. Ours is going to be way different than yours. Some people, their RV and their truck is completely paid, paid off. off. Yeah. So, so that's not going to be a factor. Yeah. So we didn't include that in our statistics. We also didn't include um, maintenance, uh, which is a factor, but it's so random. That it's not a monthly. Right. You could go three or four months without having to spend anything, and then you might drop 1100 bucks in one shot, like we did. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, because then when tires need changing, yeah. that's just a one-time expense for good for a while. Oil changes, our truck goes 10,000 miles before mm -hmm. an oil change, so 
it's it's not a constant monthly yeah. payment. And then just miscellaneous RV stuff. Yeah. I mean, we've changed like sinks in here. We've changed different different brackets in here. We changed the curtains in here. We've we've changed the decor. Um, Which most of it happened prior to hitting the road. Yeah, but we have made some changes, yeah. upgrades, yeah. Uh, the capacitor for the air conditioner, stuff like that. Yeah, just little things here and there. But it really is, it, it didn't impact our budget but, enough to really, you know, but you have to think about that stuff. Yeah, and that was, that was by choice. Nobody said we had to change curtains and, well, I said we had to, <laughs> but, but I mean, in general, that was yeah. just a personal preference. I wanted these changes. We didn't have to have these changes yeah. to RV. Um, another expense that we did not include in, in this is all of our YouTube stuff. Because yeah. it costs money to, to run a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, so we have our website. We have our StreamYard, which is our software we use to go live. We have Epidemic Sound, which is the music that mm -hmm. we use for our videos. Uh, equipment that we have bought, cameras, software upgrades for editing. Uh, camera bags, all kinds of crazy stuff that most people won't have as an expense didn't include in this. But if yeah. you are a YouTuber, you should definitely budget for that. that. Yeah. yeah. Um, other stuff, just miscellaneous stuff that we really didn't count. Not really groceries, but it still is an expense. Like all of your cleaning supplies, any clothes that you buy, pet supplies, um, and this stuff varies so much. Yeah, and we really didn't include it because it's not everybody's buying worms as their pet supplies. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, a lot of people are buying like dog, dog food or cat food yeah. or litter or whatever. Yeah. So it's going to vary a little bit on that. So I would say uh, probably somewhere between twenty five hundred a month and three thousand a month is comfortable. Yeah. If you have that, at least that amount coming in, mm -hmm. you can comfortably live, and and you could cut a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we we are mean, not frugal. No. We <laughs> save hundreds by not eating out so much. Yeah, the eating out, the entertainment, and then just the nice to have stuff that we buy that we really don't, we don't need, need, but we just do it anyway. Yeah. It has been super fun mm -hmm. for this year. Yeah. Even though, like I said, we have run into some issues. We did have a few hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> We've had difficulties traveling through construction zones. We've had the issues of just being in unfamiliar areas and locations. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's hard to get around. So we've had we've definitely had challenges sometimes in finding a place to stay. Yes. Because some of the areas we wanted to go to there's not much. Maybe yeah. one or two campgrounds so either you're going to stay at a crappy campground or you're gonna pay out the butt. Yeah. Which is unfortunate, but it just is what it, it is. Yeah. We had the we had the big flood in Branson. Yeah. And we got evacuated out of. Yeah. We had the freeze in Oklahoma City. Yeah. We had um, we've had wrong site assignments. Yeah. We've gotten to places where we had a site assignment and people were already in our spot. Yeah. Um back in spots. <laughs> Well, I'd like to think we've mastered that now. We've gotten better at it, for sure. I don't know about mastered, but... Well, well so far. Yeah, we've gotten better at it. But we now know we are capable of the back I end. don't lose sleep over it anymore. I used to <laughs> yeah. be like, oh god, we got a back Stress. end spot tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And then I lay there, yeah. not sleeping, going, oh my god, he's going to back in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had, of course, we had the Rona. Yes which has just been challenging in a bunch of different aspects. Mm -hmm. uh, we had tornado issues yeah. in Georgia. Um, we had the AC that was out for six weeks yeah. and that fiasco. Uh, our truck got backed into. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We've had quite the, uh, quite the, the adventure for just a year. Yeah. Yeah. But even with, uh, when you lay it out, it sounds really bad. It does sound bad. But <laughs> but I'd take all that again any day over yeah. still going to work and living in our house. Yeah, for sure. And 
Um, one of the things that we're trying to do to mitigate the cost of camping is we purchased a thousand trails membership. Yes, we have. And we are going to have a video coming up really soon. Yes, we will. On that <laughs> to talk all about our, our experience, purchasing experience. Yeah. And then later on down the road, we will do another video on experience of staying a thousand trails. Was it worth it? All that good stuff. Mm -hmm. The very coolest thing about this whole experience and this year was being able to raise and give money to veterans and veteran yes. organizations. Yeah. Awesome. That's been so fun. The very first uh, donation that we gave away was before we, we were full timing. Yeah. So that doesn't Just really right yeah that doesn't really count in this first year of full timing. Mm -hmm. um, so we've given away just shy of three thousand dollars of money that we've been able to yeah. raise because of you yes. helping uh, watching our videos making donations um, buying wag swag Being hanging out with Patreon. us yeah, on Patreon yeah. um, shopping at our Amazon mm -hmm. store mm -hmm. and through our affiliate links so all those things have helped us give away almost three thousand dollars to veterans this year which is really cool and I can't wait to see how much we give away next year yes <laughs> there are a ton of different ways that uh, that you can make this happen if you want to be a full-time RVer um, you can cut a lot of that out of your budget like I said we don't save a ton no. of money uh, we like I said we were about three thousand dollars a month for us to live comfortably yeah. the way that we the way that we like to live mm -hmm. <laughs> but we yeah. certainly don't have to, have to. yeah um, if we got into a pinch we could definitely cut a lot of that out of the budget there is always options for work camping mm -hmm. or staying in a location for a longer period of time which will cut your cost yes monthly is a lot cheaper yeah um, not eating out yeah as often, as often. Um, if you are military staying on military installations if boondocking's your thing, you'll save a ton of money in that. For sure. But not our thing. It's not our thing. <laughs> we need full hookups. <laughs> yeah. um, again, there's the Thousand Trails option out there, which mm -hmm. uh, can definitely save you some money. There is um, Passport America yeah. out there. Harvest Host. Mm -hmm. There's just a ton of different ways that you can get creative. There's people out there that gate guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're going to keep on keeping on and mm -hmm. keep on bringing you with us. And we hope that you are having as much fun as we are <laughs> following our journey. Um, we are doing our best to to bring you the the coolest stuff and some of the some of the stuff that's not known as well, mm -hmm. so that when you get out and travel, you can see some of this stuff that is not really like those big uh, tourist attractions. Yeah, that, that you know. everybody does. Or everybody talks about. Yeah. Well, it's been a awesome first year, mm -hmm. and we can't wait for the many more years. I don't know how many more years we're going to do this. We're going to keep doing it until we don't stop do having it. fun, <laughs> or until we have seen everything. So it'll definitely be when we stop having fun, because mm -hmm. we're not going to be able to see everything. No, I don't think you could. <laughs> anybody in their lifetime has ever said they saw it all. No, but we're going to give it a good try. <laughs> give it a good army try. That's right. We hope that you enjoyed watching our one year update and we hope that you got something out of the stats hopefully it helped you plan or budget or at least it was entertaining hopefully yeah. if nothing else if we didn't cover something that is of interest let us know yeah but we, either... can, we can go back and look at our stuff and and answer that for you yeah and and we really didn't do a great job of keeping track this year no, because we decided to start keeping track after we were already doing it. So it was yeah. kind of like, like oh, well, why didn't we think of keeping track yeah. from the day one? But yeah, so now. But this next year we'll, we'll do go. better, yeah. and then next year we'll give you another update on our stats and mm -hmm. what we did the second year, and um, hopefully we spent less, traveled more, met more people. And gave away way more money to veterans. Yeah. That's what we're hoping for year two. <laughs> That's year two goals. There you go. <laughs>
Hashtag goals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like we do at the end of every one of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you following us for this year, and we hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.